Hello and welcome back to the craft store. Thank you to Paula for that amazing hour that we've just had. But don't forget as well, this hour we are crafting again. So if you've not met me before, my name's Dawn Wheeler. I'm part of the Create and Craft team that has now joined with the Craft Channel. If you're not sure before, with the Craft Store, sorry. If you're not sure and everybody is merging together, so it's going to be a bigger and better channel than before. So again, we've got lots of specialists and individuals that are going to give you all the deals of the day. Now, today, obviously, I am getting to work especially with one of the big names in the industry one of the craft gods himself i get to work with a fabulous john lockwood oh dear don't don't stop it <laughs> we've known Hello. each other years we have known each other far too many far more years than either of us would admit to be honest maybe <laughs> yeah we, we, we met when we were 12 honestly <laughs> <laughs> but no but it's fabulous like i say you know for us all to be back together and working with and especially to bring you the deal that i have got for you today this is the monthly mega deal and when we say a deal this is a deal of a steal if you are looking for a machine that's going to give you the power we are looking at an electric die cutting and an embossing machine that will give you everything that you need it's all metal in construction we're looking at a full size with this so again we are talking about the daddy this is the biggest machine that we can bring to you right here at this moment in time and honestly on a mega deal you have it you're going to get all your plates in the bundle so you're going to have all those so you're going to have your A, B, C, your metal shim, and you have then got your rubber shim as well. So you've got those two. But then, as an extra, you will also receive your dies. You've got 30 of your dies, and you've got your two embossing folders as well. So techniques from the start. All you're basically going to need is, once you get this out of the box, obviously electricity to plug it in, but your basic card stocks, and you can make this work. We Obviously, I've got the three extra payments on this one as well, your flexi payments. You are looking at paying 100 139.99 for this one and you know value for money or 46.66 on one of your first payments out there today obviously it will be split into three even payments but make sure you get on the website or on the phone lines to ensure you've got yours but nobody better than to show us this is the fabulous john who's going to show us the way to make this work i, I hopefully th thanks for the <laughs> build will. up there dawn i mean one thing i want to explain first and something we were chatting about before the reason i'm on doing this machine this okay. isn't linked to crafts to or any of the brands i do yep the reason her chander and the craft store have asked me to do this is because i use this machine i've used this machine now for three years wow i have five of them which everyone goes Burr. but i have one for telly one for home. Fabulous. And then I have three for workshops. It's a little bit like everything. You don't have extras unless it does the job that you, you want you it don't. to do. And I, I know you'll know this as a, as a demonstrator yourself. You don't invest your own money because every single... This is not given to me. No, nope, every bit of kit. Free. I bought this and I paid the, the Hachanda price for it. Wow. Because this is a new one that I got myself. So I've bought all of them. And you don't put your money out when you're a demonstrator on something that's no. tuppenny hapenny or isn't going to work. You can't guarantee it on air. No. You've got to have something that's going to work, something that yes. you know is not going to let you down. And this machine down, some of you from Create and Craft may have seen me using this machine. It's something that I've used in my past. It's a top quality machine, all metal construction. Think of this like the Rolls Royce of die cutting machines. It's got the power. But honestly, if you've got any questions on this, anything you're not sure, layer up system, what plates to use, what dies it will even take, John will answer all these for me, won't you, John? I will. I will try my hardest. So, the main feature of this, and this is the one thing that appealed to me, apart from it being electric, apart from it being, and we talk about it being A4, it's bigger than A4. Yes. If I tilt that round, can you see? That's an A4 plate. It's got an extra half an inch, which means that if, like me, you just jam them got in... Got wiggle room. It goes at an angle. You're not going to cut the edges no. or anything. You can use bigger card. It can overhang. You're not going to squidge That's, everything. No, you're not. It's amazing. The quality's there. But the main thing that sold this to me is this takes every single die I have ever bought. Amazing. So apart from some really big Sizzix dies of about 10 years ago, which were designed for their 12 by 12 machine, yep. it will take every die even going. So it will take... The free dies, the dies that come with it, which the are thin again, dies, not yeah. just thrown in, so these are your thin dies, these okay. are your, your creations. It'll work on your John Next Door dies, your detailed dies. It will work on 
your thicker multimedia or fabric dies. Okay, so like your 3D away. dies and things yeah, like that. Yeah, all of those. So all of those from every company, you know, Tonic do them, Sizzix do them, everyone yep. do them. So that's great, there's thin dies. We'll work on these. I don't know if anyone would recognise these. Oh, I don't know them. These are Anna Griffin dies. Oh, yes, that's it. Now you yeah. say, you, wow, that's a blast. So she, I, I'm, I'm actually, <laughs> you know, I'm doing my craft credentials here. You know, my name's John and I'm a craftaholic. <laughs> but these are Anna Griffin dies I yes. got from, ooh, 15, probably a lot longer, longer than that yeah. years ago. So that's great. But then what about your Sizzix dies? Oh, wow. What about your deep dish dies? What about your Spellbinders deep dish dies designed the exclusively for their platinum, their yeah. new ones? What about the original dies from Sizzix? What about the short run the thinlets, thinlets dies. Wow, back in the day. From Sizzix. I mean, so I'm, even I'm, the ones with the red backs. Even the red backs. Wow. Even the, if you've got the original first dies, which I know Paula has at home, and I'm hoping, I meant to ask her earlier, she's got, I'm hoping she'll lend me some, but the wooden ones, do you yes, remember the, the wooden, wooden ones? Very first dies available you could ever get anywhere in the world. Wow. This you machine will take them. them through, yes. You have to pump them through the die cutting machine because yep. they were on a and wooden slung base. And it along and it was a wooden base. Yeah. This will take every die I have ever wow. purchased. And to me, that's the amazing thing. I don't need to think, right, OK, I really, really, really want to cut this. Um, I bought this from here. Yes. I bought this from here on a happy hour. Spellbinders, two feather die. Yes. Yeah, OK, I have never cut this oh wow so, so what have, are you going to cut on it so i've never cut this this is dolly board so this is gray board okay so this it's is really a, really thick this is i think this is probably 2000 gsm something yeah. like that it's proper a little bit like mount board if yeah, you sat it at home is. thinking what is that this is what it is it's mount board so super super Perfect strong example so this is the fab thing about this machine so my die's small isn't it yeah and it's thick yeah, yeah? and of course if you've had an electric die cutting machine before, I know we were talking earlier about the one. The biggest plate. Two little hanging down things there. Yes. You've got to get everything to hit those notches to activate it. Otherwise, yeah? the sensors just Don't do work. not want to run. There are no sensors in this. Oh, wow. Watch. So I can stick that. Look, let's stick it in at an angle. Yeah. Plus run. I'm using the Kaleido plates. Look. Honestly, you've got your flexi basket open, pop in these extra plates. We've got a few extra things. Plates are on the bottom as well, and obviously we've got magnetic plates and everything else. Extra bits in there, do get those. Look at this, one pass. Brand new, yeah, 2,000 at least. It's Look at that, yeah. It's what you get in your pictures. Dye's never been used. Crikey. I've never tested it in this machine. This and that's is, what I wanted to show. But the excess as well, you could use as a stencil. I could. You could use, you can make your own stencils with this as well. So think about this. If you have got one machine, how many of us have in the past brought, even we do it now with hairstyling products, it's got a curling wand on it, it's got a blow dryer, it's got a blow dry brush, things like that. This is what it's about. All the machines you've got at home, you're wanting something that literally has got a nice compact space. Think of this, it's slightly larger than a large family toaster. Yeah. You've got that, but I have to say it's weighty, but that's good because it's got the weight. It's not going to be jumping along the counter and it's going to give you even pressure every time you use it. You know, like I say, with machines, same with me, I do the same trade as John. We want something that's guaranteed to give us precision cuts every single time. One pass, you saw mount board, it was like a knife through... Uh, knife through butter same sort of thing with this you've got that pressure you've got that compression and if you can die cut with it you can emboss with it you can do every single thing as well john we've had a question through as right. well how often do we need to replace the right. plates okay so good question these are the plates you get with it yes so you get an a plate i'll put it the right way around so it looks right on screen you get a B plate, uh -huh. you get a C plate, Yes. you get a rubber mat, which we'll go through in a little while, because okay. there's only one technique I use for that for, and you get a metal plate. Okay. Yeah? Okay, so these are the plates. Now, as I said, I trek myself, and you will know that word, but I get shouted <laughs> at home because it's not a word in normal common parlance, but where we come from... We tret ourselves. We tret ourselves. I tret myself to a new outfit yesterday. <laughs> So I, I treated, which doesn't sound right to me, nope. myself to a new machine. But what I did was the most delicate plate in this. So this is my original 
metal plate. Yeah? Okay. This is three years old. Wow. This is my original C plate. Yes. This has been used on every trade show. Wow. Every retail show. Every time I've been to the NEC and every craft store show for three years. And look at the profile and this on it. Is my original plate. So the answer to what was the lady's name? Sorry, Margaret. Margaret. So Margaret, the answer is you don't, because the, I haven't had to. No, the only thing is sometimes people and as crafters we can talk like this. You might get, you might just get an extra one because if you're anything like me. It gets lost, or you put it under a pile of cardstock. It's in the boot of the car. That would be the only time I would say to you. But nine out of ten times, a lot of people only replace them because of the etching marks yeah. in it as well. That is the only time because they'll say marking the cardstocks after you know use after uses as well. But really, really useful. But we would recommend definitely with the metal one, get two. Yeah. Definitely. What I would do is this is the this is the brand new one and i used this earlier to cut fabric so you can watch on the catch-up show at 7 a.m yep. and we will get that show put on my youtube channel okay so if you want to see any of the shows i've done before with this machine they're all on my youtube wow, that's channel brilliant. all on there recorded so what i do is that is now my fabric cutting and multimedia plate the only suggestion i'd make margaret and to anyone else is get an extra metal shim yes and what i want to show you about the oh, metal so you show shim. the edge as well john on yeah. these how fabulous so, they are this is this is the extra one we do this is the crafts two one yep but this is so what i'll do first is this is the one that comes with your machine yes. please don't do this at home but watch my hand this is what we always show you so you know you've got that confidence all, to know it's safe all chamfered yes same the crafts two one is slightly thicker Ooh. which means it's even better for paper because it adds that extra weight that, in that depth, so it's yeah. just that little bit thicker but the same again so what i would say margaret is don't worry about extra plates for your machine Jean, yes i would if it's me what i have for me is i have an extra metal shim yes so i've got one for multimedia and fabric yep and one for my paper and card Definitely. margaret all the details we've got them along the bottom as well so you've got them and we will go through everything extra as well if you want to jump ahead on the website we are really really busy thank you so much for everybody being with us you're all jumping on this this morning wanting to treat yourself and what a better time don't forget valentine's day isn't that far away and mother's day if you are looking for a fantastic deal and remember this would be fantastic for a mother's day present or as an easter present you know even valentine's day these are the treats that crafters want if you're wanting your monthly mega deal remember at the moment 139.99 you're getting your extra dies you're going to get all your plates and your embossing folders and can we say as well you also get an instruction leaflet with it as well you so do. do not worry it comes in a fabulous box so you get a full instruction leaflet one thing i'm going to say is ignore the plate combination <laughs> do what i do not what they say yeah because <laughs> it was written before i got my hands on it yes and before people like myself and dawn got yep. our hands on it and went no hang on it needs to be like it this. needs to be weighted round. but on the youtube channel there are at least five one hour shows where I'm using this machine that have been filmed here at the craft store yes. that are on there and these shows will be on but this is your combination to work Let's and do the it. reason my C plate has stayed flat is because I do this yeah but so, make a little post-it note yeah. with the you know what John's telling you now and stick the post-it note on the top so for cutting we're going to use plate the C plate yep. yeah so it will tell you to use the B plate no go A plate yep C plate because Sam said to me in the break he said why is the C not the B? I said because it wasn't designed that it way wasn't. originally. I'm going to use one of the thin dies, so this is exactly the same machine. Well, I will do when I find them, because you know what I'm like. <laughs> We've got a lot out, And John. I love to use this one. This is one of the most detailed dies that you'll get. Very and this fine. reminds me, look at that. How much is that? How detailed is that die? It's absolutely crazy. Yeah? Wow. All those cut points across there. Yeah? So... I'm going to put this on the right hand. I'm going to put this down the side because yep. no matter what, and I'll say this every time, no matter who sells you your machine, yep. no matter what they say when they're demoing, and what they'll do is they'll say, look, put it in the middle, yep. and <laughs> it will cut perfectly, and it will do in a brand new machine that's come out of the box that morning for the demo. And over time, it gets less and less. Get yes. into good habits. Top right, you know, bottom down the side yep. no matter what anybody says about how great the rollers are and everything 
there's always the law of physics says there'll not be the pressure in the middle at the no. sides it's like everything out yeah. there it's like a car think of it like a car on the road if you're going to hit bumps and things like that they will you will get that movement and that play so get used to moving it around your mat and finding the best place for you to use it but this one has got a lot of even pressure and like i say if you are wanting one of the rolls royce machines look at this and can we just say i know you've got the um Miss Griffin dies, yeah. but Miss Griffin had an actual influence in the design of this she as well. Did. So honestly, now you have got a designer machine, and I have to say, it's a beautiful thing. You've got the three buttons on the top, you've got the run, you've got your on and your reverse, and John will show you all how to use these, but do you know what? Very, very easy. If you're wanting yeah. latest bit of tech or kit for your actual craft room, there's nothing more beautiful than this machine. If you want something fabulous like that, then this will be the one for you. This is your monthly mega deal. Remember, it's 139.99. We've got it on the three flexes as well. You are saving £10 on it at the moment. Your first flexi, you'll be paying 46.66. It's 880.282. But do you know what? We are so busy. The stock on this is supposed to last a month, and we are so, so busy on it. So please make sure that you check out on those 20 percent of a whole month stock wow we're telling you now we're approaching nearly 30 percent and honestly you know the stock of this is supposed to last a month this obviously will be yeah. you know we can't guarantee make sure you put yours in your basket check out on the website right now if you're wanting this one now john show us so this i one. put the tie there yeah i yep. put my b on top okay simple Always B on top. A, C, B. A, C, B. So don't think A, B, C. Yeah. I nearly sang it then and I really can't. Nobody wants me to sing. You think A, B, B, A C, B. Okay. Keep your B on top. Just write if you want and, you know, get yourself a pen right top. Top, yeah. Yeah. And I always cut down. You can cut up. It doesn't matter which plate you cut okay. into. But and can you rotate your plates? Can you swap rotate them? Rotate them, swap them, but n don't put your C plate on top. Okay. That, because it's the thinnest plate, that's what will bend. Okay. That's what will wreck your plate. Yeah. So, so that's because you've how got I've a wider, managed to keep mine. You've got a wider plate and a wider spectrum. You've got that's a wider plate, you wider spectrum, same pressure, but you've also got the C plate is thinner. Yes. Yeah. So and you've so, got that movement and play. Yeah. So you can see after keeping it on the bottom, that's all the warp I've had in three years. Wow. And you can, you, I mean, people know how many shows I do. Yeah. Take it there and present it. Okay. Yeah. You've three buttons. Run on and reverse okay so none of this stop pause or anything just basic press run give it a tap wow it will grab it it will take it through but it won't stop running until the gate at the back is closed that's it so if i leave this just hanging out this will keep running until listen there until the gate you go. closes for safety but I'm going to show you again because I want to show you this one. And it's very quiet, isn't it, it's, John? I mean, literally, my microphone is there. It purrs like a cat. It does. But you press reverse and it straight away reverses. That's it. So if you struggle dexterity-wise, picking up the plates yep. and moving them around, this is going to save you time, but, but look, also it's going to save you the space. Stops there. Wow. So, so it's not like it's going to it's stop not gonna, and drop. It won't <laughs> drop, it won't collapse, yeah. it can't. It stops when that gate closes. Fabulous. So when that gate closes, then you just literally slide it out. Amazing. No pause, no stop. When I take that out, and this is in true linen cards, or we call it real linen card because it's both sides, but look, this is 240 GSM Crafts 2 card. So with just a weight. flick... Look how clean and crisp that is. And I have to say, and you know, this is a fantastic quality machine if you are wanting that crisp cut every single time. Just going to take the little bits out that look as if they're not. They're just hanging in there by static. But the thing is, I know Chris is doing a brilliant job here getting close in. Can you see how that's chamfered? Yeah. That doesn't need embossing. No. I have never embossed a die in my machine. Wow. I have never needed to. So it will save you the time. Yeah. It's going to give you that detail. And like you say, even if you've got straight edge dies, like oval squares, you're now going to be giving them that professional chamfered edge. So it's going to give it that curvature. Rather than looking at that sharp edge and you've got to emboss it, it's now going to do that. But honestly, we are very, very busy. Thank you for joining us. And like I say, thank you for your emails and everything else. Thank you for letting us be here with you from the craft store today with this fantastic mega monthly bundle deal that we're doing for you with the Go...
the go power and emboss that will give you all that detail obviously we're talking about die cutting but it will also give you the detail as well to use your embossing folders too that actually come in the kit so do not worry you have got a little bit of everything in this kit to get you going you're going to have all your plates you will get a full instruction sheet it comes in an amazing box so if you're giving this as a gift that is the way forward remember on your first flexi if you're wanting to split the payment on this one your pmp will be added is 46.66 if you're wanting to get that today but honestly we have got so many extra bits on this show that we'd like to run through and show you as well especially because these have been designed by John and his team and to bring you the best things as well so with this we're going to add in a few extra bits on there too but as you can see this machine has got that slightly wider fully automatic but like I say you can do everything with that what would you like to show us right. next John? so we basically I've gone through the, the combination yeah yep the, the next question that I get on this the, 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 there's always the next thing I want to show but there's always the first question I get on this is basically what do we need what do we need to do if we want to do we've all got these I've had this this particular die I cut it earlier yep this is a Sizzix big die yes yep. I've had this it's a Tim Holtz it's the dressmaker's doll I think we've we all, all got do. it yeah we've all got all it all of us have got this in tattoo in florals a bottom, dra a bottom yep. drawer somewhere yep. in a and I remember talking to one. Julia Watts yes and she said when the she moved to do the Grand Calibre when that came out because that was the big thing yes we all had a Grand Calibre we all had one, I two broke or three. six <laughs> seriously broke six of them me too um, i've never broken one of these but she said she got rid of all the big styles and then she oh, bought wow. one of these and she really regretted it she said she'd never be able to do it but people say how do we cut it so if you've got the plates that you come in the box yeah there are not enough plates and the plates are not right to cut a big sty and i don't want to stand here and go buy this kit and you can cut a big sty yeah because you will be short because you need two c plates okay so pop an extra one of those but in there aren't any extra c plates Ooh. and the reason is because couture creations knew that their plates would not warp and bend okay so unlike perhaps other companies that order 10,000 machines and yeah. 100,000 plates they ordered 10,000 machines and 5,000 plates for anyone that broke them. Yeah. So they went right relatively quickly. So all you need is your C plate, yeah? Yeah. And then another three millimeter plate. Okay. So we have got, I'm using my Kaleido plates. Okay, which we have got on the show as well. And honestly, if you can pop all these extras in. The Kaleido plates is a fabulous machine that John brings you as well. But we're just gonna pop the details up because I do think you are gonna want these. Seven, 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 one, nine, two, seven, seven. And that is for your Kaleido plates. So, and these are A5 size, John? These are A5 size, yes. but you will get the full collection. You won't just get these, you will get the full bundle, which I will okay. show you in a second how yep. to use. But basically what I will also say, and I'll be fair, yeah? Yep. If you have got a cuttle bug, yep. those will fit through here. Oh, wow. Yeah. So you can mix and match so you your can plates. mix and match. If you've got a three mil plate from another machine... Do measure it, though, please. Don't yeah. guesstimate. Do no. measure it, because each and every one of these machines is calibrated. I'm going to be honest with you. They're all calibrated. So if John says three mil, it has to be yes. three mil. Don't go three and a bit. Three. Don't do it, because you'll break your machine. Make sure it's a three yeah. mil plate, but please. But this is the other thing I love. How many machines do you know that you can use an A4 plate, you a can't. die, and an A5 plate on top? You, you can't you do can't that. You can't do that. There is no other machine that does this. I recently saw a new machine for about £100 more than this, yeah. and it does nothing different. Wow. Nothing that this doesn't do at all this is it and like i say it, as well we were looking as well on the websites and everything else you cannot get this machine anywhere else at the moment it's exclusive to us here at the moment at the craft store you can't get this anywhere we've checked it's not in stock anywhere else and honestly the price and the value you are getting with this machine like you say all the plates the extra dies and everything else i've seen this machine previously without all the extra bits so bear in mind today in this special monthly mega deal you have got it all so honestly do think about getting this because the value is incredible yeah. it, so it's, look it's, at that so that is literally cut in 200 2000 gsm at least mountboard yeah yeah i mean if i give you a piece you can see that i'm not just talking no, smack it, it is no this is proper mountboard this is tough 
tough stuff and like I say you know I'm a crafter this is the sort of stuff we use for picture frames and things like that it is very very thick if you're doing mixed media this now this machine with all your dies doing mixed media yeah, is going to be your gonna best be friend so as an everyday crafter card making paper crafter but you know what mixed media this takes your machine into a different realm altogether especially with the pressure that you are getting in this as well so fabulous so, but like I say get the kaleidoscope plates as well it's amazing so we said about the kaleido plates so you would need yep. two three mil yep. to cut or one additional three mil to cut through your big styes okay yeah? but you may not want to you may want to and i use this an awful lot the only dies i use are the kaleido and the go power yeah and basically i might want to cut this shape i'm not going to cut a detail i'm not going to cut something um, the easy. I'm going to cut something difficult, so I'm going to cut this into it. Oh, we've got the help desk coming up, John. You, you, you are in the need this morning. We've got lots of questions. Now, Mary wants to know, is it in this one? Can we use the glimmer machine, which is the foiling machine from Spellbinders? You can. Can you put all oh, the same you go. space aperture as a platinum? Okay, so you've got the same width and the same depth. Obviously, with that, if you go on to um, YouTube and things like that, there'll be tutorials to be able to use it with different machines. Yeah. Could just be a different plate or something. Just or a different just... plate combination. You'll okay. need to work out your plate combination, but whatever combination you would use in your platinum is what you would use in here. Oh, there Same you go. Same with the Go Power um, or the Go Foil, go uh, foil. machine, which yep. I've got at home. Yep. That fits through. Also, the heartfelt moulds all fit through here. Wow. There is nothing that I have found that goes through a die cutting machine that will not work in this machine. That's why it earned its place. That's why it earned my exactly. money. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And it earned its place in my craft cave because it's got to at home. It's got to earn its place in there. That's incredible. And to pay my money. And, and it's got to be worth it. So here I've got the base plate from the Kaleido, the 5 mil plate, the card, the die, and one of the 3 mil plates. And Fabulous. You get two of those. Yeah. So again, you've got two which are perfect for doing your your big dies yep. or anything. And wow. literally, we will be showing you all many, these on the counter as well in a moment. Yep. So do not worry. How many five? How many A5 plates do you know yeah. go through like that through an A4 machine? They don't. They don't. They go through and even reverse. If anything, they would it, normally get stuck. They would get stuck and it wouldn't grab because this has been designed so that there are no sensors to say, oh, it's right, it's running. This will look, run. It wow. just runs and it will not accept it. So if I say, for example, I put on top of here the wrong plate. And that is one of your dies as well, isn't it, yeah. John? So this is one of mine. This is one of mine we've got on the show. I know it's going to be really difficult to... Um, tell you what, I'm going to put on my embossing mat, the one that I use. OK. OK, and I'm going to put the same plate on top. Because that's slightly thinner, isn't it? It is, yeah. I don't use the one in the one that goes in yep. the machine. So this is too thick a sandwich, OK? It's going to take it now, isn't it? <laughs> if it like is, Kelly does if this. it's too thick, thick yeah. it will reject it, reverse it out, and all the lights will flash. That's it. That's it. If it cannot handle it, yep. it will not allow you to break it. OK. So it's goof proof. Because it will. Yeah, it's, it's basically me proof because, I, as I said, I don't joke or lie when I say I broke six grand calibers. Not just the handles. We've all done that. Forcing cardstock yeah. through. We should this have added an extra you, shim, put it in. If you've got something like this that makes it goof proof, you cannot break this machine. That's what we all want as crafters. The guarantee that, one, it will cut, and two, you've got the safety feature. But you can see I can get all these bits out, but I don't want to spend... I'll just do here, just to show you. But, I, you know, it's boring to watch that. But... Look at all of that. Oh, wow. That's cut. Yeah. All of these bits just popping out really easily. That was on an A5 plate. Yep. Kaleido plates through the middle of the electric machine. Wow. That's how good this is. So, again, like me, you may say, well, I don't do a lot of A4 die cutting, but it's worth having it because I, I don't know about you, Dawn, but I was bought a big shot. Yes. It's the first machine I had. Yep. We all had them. We that all was had them. Was. We all did. Yeah. Within three months, I bought a calibre. Yeah. Because I needed that bigger space. That's it. The larger I, size. Yeah. And I was almost like, people say to me, what to do? I say, if you like die cutting, go straight for an A4. If you don't, you're not sure, get the A5. But once you get the bug, because yeah. I only bought it to cut out shapes to stamp on, 
And literally, look what's happened. it goes through. <laughs> and now, I mean, now I have got more dice than you could. I've got an entire room of it. But, but honestly, a lot of you are asking as well about the brush that John's using. Obviously, this is a special tool that John brings you as well. It is on the bottom of your screen. This is the Craft Tool Triple Action Brush and Glue Eraser Set, which is ingenious because you've got little marks on your cards. You know, with the pressure with your tape sometimes, give it a little bit of rub. This will remove it. But $9.99 for this one, or 527-273 if you are wanting this. Ideal as little presents and gifts, John. I, I, I love these. And there's a little trick. I mean, glue erasers are the best things in the world. It is. For taking glue off. But this is something I learned recently. Can you see here where you've got a couple of hanging chads? Yep. And basically where they've cut everywhere but in one little bit. Yep. When you, when you tear them off at the back, it tears the card. Yeah. You don't. You use your eraser watch. Oh, wow. Take some off. I've got one there. Let's just pop that out. Okay. That's hanging. Yep. It's gone. Not ripped my card and literally it's that. taken everything off but it's not torn at the back some more here but how many times we've we used reusable tape and uh, then you've got those sticky marks and you think oh i've only got this one color of, of card stock you don't want to you can't replace it adding this in just cleans it gets rid well, of any sticky it residue does. And people say to me oh do you keep a clean plate for cutting white do i heck no life's too short i use this that's it takes it. all sorts of marks off, and my plates, I mean, if you've ever watched one of my Craft Cave Lives, you'll see I'm constantly going like that because my plates are acky. Aww. They are literally coated. Well, we've had questions in about the plates as well, John, so a lot of people are asking as well. Sandra has just asked, what order of Kaleido plates do we use as well? So obviously we've had those. A lot of you have got the Kaleido machine and already use that and enjoying it. But if you're wanting to use the plates with this. And we also had a question as well um, asking, I think that was a Sandra as well, asking about the, the different Sandra, asking about the magnetic platform right, as so well. So if we can go <coughs> through that too, that'd be incredible. We can. Your Kaleido plates, yep. and this would be the same if you've got something like the Cuttlebug. Your base plate, okay, and then I go five mil plate, card and die. So a bit of card and a die. Let's do a detailed one. Let's not. Well, let me just get the bits out of this. Sorry, <laughs> you can tell a crafter because their dies are never clean. No, never trust if a you, tidy crafter. If you go around someone's house and you see that it's completely spotless, you'll, it, you know, they're not being used. So. Now, the, card, the ones that are on screen, mil. this is the bundle. This has got your magnetic base in Sandra's, yes. both Sandra's, if you're looking. You've got your three mil pair, sorry, John, and you've got your five mil too. You're looking at 36.47, but do you know what I do? If you get in your machine, put this in the three-way flexi and flexitize it and make three easy payments yeah. on that as well, and it'll make it a lot easier and as well. So, honestly, get the plates while we've got them in stock, because I bet these fly out, John. We only just got the three mil plates back in stock. Oh, wow. It took us nearly six months. Crikey. Um, and now they're back in stock. The Kaleido's completely sold out <laughs> but Standard. there are so many more uses for them because the plates are so expensive they are but you see now you see here I've gone in the middle and can you see how it's not completely clear through yeah yeah there's two options with this okay two things I learned if I'm cutting normal card yeah this is why I'd always say add in the a5 shim Okay. Yeah. We add that, it increases the pressure. Yeah. If it's wrong for the machine, the machine won't take it. Okay. It will reject it. So it'll come through. If you're cutting a speciality or a double sided card, yeah. cut the die into the metal shim. Okay. And it will finish it so off. So it bites into it, it and gives it a bites crisp finish. It gives it a crisp finish. So you can see now, can you see the difference on that? There we go. Just making it, I'm making it so difficult for poor Chris. Oh, look at that See now. See that every cut is through and that's what you check. And that's basically how so we deal with it. So could you cut fabrics and things with, with these kaleidoscope plates as well you through the can. machine? Yeah. Oh, Again, wow. Again, using the metal shim. Yeah. Any change, it doesn't change anything at all. It's exactly the same. Fabulous. That is incredible. For a machine to be able to do that, and obviously John's working really close with the company as well, from the Go, the Go Power and Emboss, to make sure that you've got the best plates, the best techniques to make sure this does this. But do remember, this is your special prize for your mega monthly bundle. And again, we are very, very busy on this. Thank you to everybody who's with us this morning. We do appreciate it. It's Saturday morning. We know that you're very, very busy. But let's show this. We've had a quilt man sent in and honestly using a plate. What was the lady's name? Sorry. 
Lynn. And look at this. Lynn has used the Go Power and Emboss to make this. Look how fabulous that is. Yeah, no warping in the plates. That is beautiful. And to cut to that level, because presumably for that you've used quilting fabric dies or AccuQuilt dies or something, because yeah. all of those fit. So if you've got all those AccuQuilt dies that we yeah. spent so much money on, but as, as, as the lady's done there, because I forget names, to be honest. I, I said hello to Dawn this Lynn. morning as hello, Julie. So, <laughs> sorry. Um, but, yeah, literally... I'll do it with these again. I'm going to take a simple quilting die, two layers of fabric, onto my metal shim, three mil on, run it through, and I could be doing this with my A4 plates the same, and I did this earlier, but basically you go through and look at the plates afterwards. Nothing. Look at that. Still. Completely flat. No that. warping at this all. This is what I mean. And these are special 3D fabric dyes. We're not talking everyday dyes. No. Ones that are deeper, thicker. These are three mil deep. Your dyes are a millimetre deep. These yes. are three mil deep, designed specially to do it. In fact, if you look, look, the die has slightly bowed. Yeah. Which it does over time. The plate hasn't. No, the plate hasn't. You've and got no movement. And that's the same with the plates that you get with your go power and emboss. That's it. If you're wanting to try quilting and things like that, even if you're thinking, I've just had a sewing machine, I want to get into it. If you have got the go power emboss, you know you've got the machine of choice that will give you that crispness, that will give you that depth and everything else. Like I say, if you have a look out there on the websites, they will, you will see these on different websites, but like I say, a lot of them are out of stock. So just bear that in mind. We've done our checks and had a little look around, but do remember, this is the monthly mega deal. It's the special price. You're getting £10 off, plus a as well we are flexing those on there too but what we're going to do as well is do some of the questions we've got a few questions in as well um can you use any of the grand caliber plates the a4 or a5 instead of the clear plates if necessary you shouldn't need to i know where that question's coming okay. from okay because i know that we used to use them in one of the old electronic machines to keep them going yes um to be honest with you you shouldn't get to a point there you need to I haven't checked them, but the combination of the Grand Calibre plates is different. It's like an 8 mil, and I think it's an 8 mil and a 6 mil. It is. So um, and bear in mind as well, like I say, these machines are calibrated. If you start putting things that are too thick through it, because end of the day, these have got metal components, metal rollers in them, you will end up forcing them, you can end up breaking yeah. your machine. Then if it goes back to the supplier and they check it, the calibration on it, they will see that it's damaged and it's been forced. So again, then you've warding, you've war you are avoiding your warranty so bear that in mind but no don't put your grand caliber plates no, no good what question. i would say is i know where the question's coming from yep but this is my c plate of three years of literally everything that yes. comes with it so you will not need to use those grand caliber of plates because you're, you're not going to have the problem you're having with the machine you've got at the moment and i know the machine you've got and i know the problem you've, you're having because i've done it myself promise you if you keep this c plate and cut onto it put the b on top you will never need to use those in it so use that. So use your plate slightly different. Remember, so what is the plate configuration that a, you want us to use? A, C. A, C. Dies and... Paper. Paper. B, B cut. on top. Just, Just remember... Just think B on thick, top. Thick plate on top. Yeah. Always the thicker one out of the two on the top to get the well, difference. Well, the cream always rises to the top, so just remember the thicker bit at the thicker top. Thicker bit at the top. Right, when putting your plates through, if you don't rush to catch the plate at the other end, does it hang out when you're waiting to be picked up? Or I will it know. just drop out let's have that's a look what we need to know it just Stops. slides itself out that's it it'll just stop and slightly drop yeah. but it doesn't tip out the it end it doesn't so do what um i mean i'll run this one through again to show you but it doesn't do unless you've put something too heavy in there or too much yep it doesn't fire them out so it hits that wall no so i'm not gonna i'm gonna stop here i'm gonna take these away but you that's can it. it just see. tilts and just slightly drops it just hangs yeah. don't it literally here we go There That's you go. It. And That's that will it. keep running until I take them off. So it tells me, the machine, that it's still in, they're in there because it keeps running. It's genius. And it will run for about a minute and then it will cut itself off because it's going too long. So how long does it roughly take to go through the machine, John? I think it is 16 seconds. OK, so it's it very quick. But it feels an awful lot longer than it is. <laughs> On live telly, it does for yeah. sure. Now, John, we've also had a question. Um, you're using the thinner embossing mat. Can you use the Grand Calibre embossing mat instead? You can. Oh, yes. fabulous. So I was going to actually emboss on here. So I'm going to turn these over now. 
I know this is a problem that Dawn had with this machine, and I, yep. both of us would rather be honest. This is amazing. The one that comes with it yes. is absolutely amazing. If you want to do, you know, the stencil technique. Yes. I will try and do it at three o'clock. Yep. Where you put a stencil on the card on your embossing through. It's amazing for that. Yeah. But because they, the idea was, I think, that you replace the B plate with this. Yeah. You're you're messing about an awful lot. Yeah. And we're using the C, and I find it squidges out and it comes out like a sandwich. Yeah. And I used to use <laughs> it for embossing. So what I do now is I use the Crafts Two glue mat. That's it. Yeah, so I'm going to use that, and I'm going to use it on the one here that hasn't fallen out. But I can do that and add that on without altering my sandwich. That's it. That is genius. Because, yeah. like I say, you want that compression, you want that embossed detail, and just by swapping the mat out, and like I say, we've got, you know, your mat on the show as well, John. Yeah. That would be fantastic. Have a look on the website, because obviously all the products on the show will be listed there as well, and obviously look for John's products with the embossing mat and also the Kaleidoscope bundle plate. But, I would definitely recommend getting that, because I'm not being funny, you're going to get your A4 size plates in the machine, but if you get the item yeah. number at the bottom, 719277 you have actually got the A5 bundle so then you've got the best of both you've sizes. You've got the best of everything yeah, yeah to be honest. Can you see now how that's really, you see it better on the back, can you see how it's literally just turned that corner a lot more? I don't find the necessity yeah, yeah, I don't definitely. find any necessity, but if you are going to emboss your dies, if you've got really detailed yeah. or if you love the Becca Fecan cards, yes. which I think we all do, we all aspire oh, we to those at them. times, <laughs> where she uses gold mirror card in a way we'd never do it, no. <laughs> but she embosses them and gets it beautifully. I personally, and this is not from a sales perspective, it's experience, yes. find that too thick, you'd be better with the glue mat because you're messing about changing plates. Exactly. Plus, and you've got the risk of it moving. You have. And if you're using one of the thinner embossing folders, you know, the old style. Yeah. Now we're all into 3D. Yes. But I've got like the tied together embossing folder, which is still my absolute favourite. From <laughs> Couture, you remember when that sold out and everyone begged them to make it again? I mean, I think what you get in here is a version of that. So yeah, let's standard. emboss. Let's show you how you emboss with this. But honestly, we are so, so busy. Thank you so much for being with us. The th a third of the stock of the mega monthly deal has gone. Me you will so get that right These at are some all point. new words to monthly me. These are all new deals. Deal. So bear with me, anybody. It's a month. A monthly mega deal, okay? So, honestly, fantastic deal with this one. And a third of the stock has already got... Do you know what? Approaching 40% of the stock. This is how busy we are. We know Saturday morning, you've now been out, you've had your breakfasts, you're up and ready. Do not miss out on this. Get in there first. You've thought about it because it is a considered purchase. But if you are wanting one of the... You know, like when we all sit with the latest new mobile phones, we all want the latest technology. This is going to give it you, but it's taking all the old tech technology and bringing it to the front so all your dies or your old dies you know the thick ones the thin ones everything's going to go through this but now john is going to show you as well how to emboss and remember as well you've got your flexible payments on this as well if you're wanting to get that split 46.66 for your first payment today to get this little beauty home with everything else but it opens your flexi basket so if you're wanting to get your kaleidoscope a5 plate so you've got the best of having the a4 ones in there having the a5 size ones that john does as well will make the difference check out the website as well and just have a little scroll through but honestly get these while they're in stock as john said obviously it takes a while to get these back in everything is on there for you so please make sure you pop those in especially if you've got that flexi basket and get everything that you need and then it'll all arrive and you will be the happiest little craft bunny out there but you can see with this a lot of john's dies are on there as well stamps there's the little tool that's the need and there's your little bundle as well with your kaleidoscope plates so just remember if you want in extra metal shims pop that in too because like you say you've got the large size one but you know the a5 the a5 size one's going to be genius to use smaller projects as well but let's do the embossing folder right, John. So no longer we should I wait. I did a 3d embossing folder earlier okay. and that was base plate always remember try and keep your b on the top okay. so it was base plate folder and card and the b plate now okay. this is a traditional embossing folder that comes with it okay so i'm going to run that through and if you can hear the noise yeah there's hardly any alteration in the noise no which says to me straight away i've not had enough pressure in okay. there okay yeah and it, it almost eases out because there's yes. not in so when i look 
Well, it's not very embossed, is it? No, we need embossing, no. John. But the, the manual will tell you to use the black. Yeah? Yes. The manual will tell you perhaps yep. use the black. Honestly, what will happen is that will come out of the back like it chewing just, gum. Yeah. <laughs> and it goes so long. I find that too thick. Yep. So what I tend to do is I will use for this, for a normal folder, my metal shim, my die and my folder, my glue mat, as we call it. We yep. really should have renamed that into a shit, into sort of like a rubber shim, but... But the you know, thing is, this is all on your YouTube channel as this well, is like all you said. On there, yeah. So honestly, please go to John Lockwood's YouTube channel. You can sit when you get your machine home, open the box. Do remember as well, you can look, catch up, and thank you to who else has emailed in? Avril. Avril, thank you so much for your message. It does mean a lot. And we've had we've had Paula but as well. We've see? had a little message. Will the Clido bundle work on the cut emboss? I don't know. Okay. You have more experience of that than me because I didn't get on with... Um, we, we had this discussion say... earlier and it's gone very quiet because I didn't get on with it. Yeah, and I loved it. <laughs> uh, and, and, and Dawn loved it. And this is the difference in demonstrators. Right. But I'm gonna... There's so many combinations in there, I'm not sure, but it might do with the base, the five, the three and the three. Right. I'm going to put this out there, okay, with the cutting emboss, you could actually use the GoFoil machine through it. Right. With a single, you know, the clear plate that was with it. Yeah. So I would have thought with those... You should, that should you work, You should yes. be able to put it through. I'm, yeah, I would, have, I would have said so, on, you know, being yeah. honest. But if not, obviously you can return it to us. It's not a problem. You have got your returns policy as well, so you can return it to. But I would have thought so, John. I you? would think so, yeah. yeah. But I again, I, I don't want to give it... But can you see there? We'll have a, we'll have a play. We'll, we'll have, have a to have a play. But you see there, that's the emboss. Now, this is obviously a normal embossing folder, and I've done it on black, which is not great for the TV. But I've got all of that but look emboss. look how deep it is. But look how crisp that is on a standard embossing folder. Yeah. Yeah, that on a standard embossing folder. So all I've used is the base, the mill, and the rubber mat. And that's, that's what it. makes the difference. So what I love about it is everything that everyone's asked so far, the answer's been yes. Yes. Because there's a combination, and I would say 90% of the yeses are just using the equipment that comes with it. That's it. You're not having to buy extra. And as I said, you know, the big thing for me was being able to get this little Tim Holtz. I don't even know what this one does. But that's what I mean, because, because normally... Because I've never been able to cut it no, before. No, because normally, if you've got the big A4 plates, it's the time it takes to go through. If you get John's kaleidoscope plates, and I have to say, we are so, so busy on the kaleidoscope plates as well. A lot of the stock of these have gone too, because a lot of you are putting this in. Half the stock of that bundle are now actually going, so make sure you do not miss out. Item number is on the bottom of the screen, if you want to check those out. It's 719277. So we're going to do that. Now, I know we're going to do this, John, but then afterwards, can we just take it back to basics and show everybody yep. basically what they're going to get and how they're going to use well, it? This is my favourite bit to show you. That's fine. This is a value. This is a die that is literally less yep. than three inches wide. Yep. With two clear plates. Yeah. Going through, not breaking, not doing anything. No. So... Can can you run that through? I mean, I don't know. Could you run that through the other machine that you've got? No. It wouldn't not work. At, not at all. It would not, not work. At all. Not even that way would it work. No. It's not possible. And because the sensors is... in it, the plates would tip. They'd hit the sensors and then it wouldn't work. Yeah, exactly. So I've got this scroll cut work now in mount board. Oh, wow. Cut. I've never cut this before. I, I bought it like we all do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I took it out of the packaging. It's down here this morning, but I had to take it out of the packaging. That's gorgeous. Because literally, it had got the price on the front. <laughs> so it says John matching, hiding the price. But basically, that was 10 99 I wasted on a die I've never used. Um, wow. But that's what we do with Tim Holt stuff sometimes. This but is it to make it work. What so we're going is, so what I've tried to show you, yep. and what I've tried to go through is, so you get in your machine. Yes. Yeah. Your basic, everything you need to do to die cut, to all your thin dies, everything we have, yep. up to A4 in size. Yeah, yep. up to all the different dies, everything you need is included. So you get your A plate, you get your B plate, you get your C plate, yep. you get your metal shim, 
Yeah. Yep. So you get your metal shim, which is not very good because it's reflecting my chins. Stop yeah. it. Uh, I, I, look, I'm, you know, I'm not, look, come on, there's at least Stop three there. Stop it. Yeah, you get your embossing mat. Yeah. Okay. You're going to get two really nice embossing folders. This is a version of Tied Together, and if you've yep. been in the craft industry... You'll know. ...or you've been a crafter for years, you'll know that everyone was fighting over these. I saw one of these in A4 go on eBay for £60 <gasps> at the height. I'm not surprised. And that's literally no smack. You get 30 dies. So if you've never die cut before, yeah? Yep. You can... All you've got to do is understand on and off... And there's a, there's a leaflet that yeah. comes, and it's a leaflet. It's Run. not a manual, it's a leaflet. And reverse. Yeah. No stop, no pause, no warning, no nothing. All you need to add is card and glue. Wow. That's all you need. That's, That's the only thing that doesn't come in the box. Plug it in and it goes. There are lots of different combinations we can use. Okay. But what I was trying to show through this show is we can cut and we can emboss with it. Can. But remember, we can cut now all the dies we've ever bought yep. from any company from the beginning unless if, as long as they go through that aperture we can cut them okay yeah? every die from the beginning of dies full stop wow. even the aqua quilts even the original sizzix yep you can put through here both of your foiling machines that are on the market yeah yep. so both of those will go through incredible you can put through your kaleido plates you can put through your cuttlebug plates you can put through your heartfelt creations flower molds and all the different mediums and you can cut as well. all the different mediums and all the different types. So literally, that on your desk with that, maybe you might have to add an extra 3 mil plate for some. Yep. Maybe you want to go for the extra plates. But with that, you can basically cut, emboss and do anything that any other die cutting machine can do, including anything that any die cutting machine can do that may have come out in the last few weeks. There's nothing new in there. If this you is actually, all, it's almost future proof. And if you look on the market as well, there isn't, as we call, a wide mouth machine. There isn't a lot of them out there nowadays. You have a look and compare, because that's what we do as crafters. But to have a machine that has got a wide mouth, that will take a foiling machine, that will take the thick dies, that will take the thin dies, that's three different types of things it will do already. Yep. This is what we're talking about. And like I said to you, it's like buying a multifunctional, you get a mixer, but you with the big mixer, you're getting a dough hook, you're getting a bread hook, you're getting all the extra bits with it. This machine has got all yeah. the extra bits with it. Looks amazing, and that's what it's about. Now, honestly, I have to tell you this, over 40% of this stock has already gone. It's only the 5th of February today. Just let me check. 5th of February today, and honestly, this is the monthly mega deal. The stock's supposed to last a full month already. And already, is it? what was it we've got to? Over 40% of the stock have this machine has now gone. Bear in mind, you're getting your plates, you're getting instruction manual, as obviously John was showing you, the dies and the embossing folder. A lot of you are making the conscious decision to upgrade your machines right now. And obviously for 4666 on your three split payment, on your flexi buy, you can do that as well. But if you want to just do the one out payment today of 139.99, you can do that also. Saving £10 on this special monthly deal. But honestly, if you're wanting one of the machines, like I would say, it's one of the Rolls-Royce, everything inside it is metal construction. Yes, it is weighty. You've got the non-slip feet on the bottom. Comes with the cable as well. Everything is on there, but just incredible, isn't it, It, it really is. It makes me think of, and I know we're not allowed to say brand names, so I'm not going to say KitchenAid on air at all. Um, but I have a certain mixer at home that yep. has been going for over 30, 40 years. Yeah. And it has never been bettered. And people keep bringing out new ones and yep. new bringing out. And every single one of them, uh, one of us that cooks or attempts to cook, all go back to that one yes. original machine. And this reminds me of that. I'm not going to, I'm not going to actually try and sort of do something new. I'm going to actually try and do the best I can with the one I've got it. So, what I'm going to do is, I want to show you the, the one thing on here that I absolutely love, and this to me is almost a test, and I really is sort of finishing on this, but this is a test of what I do um, when I'm trying out a new machine. Okay. So this is one of my dies, and this is a die that has emboss lines in it to fold on. Okay. Yeah? Now, a machine has to be good, and the pressure has to be right. It's not all about the pressure being massively high, what I need to make sure is that the lines on here that are supposed to cut 
will cut. The lines on here that are supposed to emboss will emboss but not cut through. That's it hitting all yeah. the points. So you look on here, you can see there's no difference on the back between what's a cut line and what's not. No. And this is, this is one of the first things I test any machine with. How does it handle a die that's got emboss and fold lines in it? Okay. It's not like an electronic die cutting machine. Yeah. So with an electronic die cutting machine, it cuts a dotted line. But get this one out, because I've got to be very quick, because I've got that horrible feeling I've got like less than two minutes almost left. We have. We haven't got long. We haven't got long but, now, John. So this piece comes out, but what? Look there. Okay, there is my fold line. No spoon wow. scorer. Yeah. There are my other two fold lines. There's the detail. Clear and crisp. Not cut through. But the cut lines have cut, the embossed lines have embossed. I don't have to bother with an embossing mat. Yep. And so I know that machine's right because the pressure's right to cut, but also is not too much to cut the lines that aren't supposed to cut. That's and it. that to me is so important. It is, because how many times have you put a piece of cardstock through and it, the emboss lines, the pressure's been too much, it's actually punctured the cardstock, so then it's wasted. Or you're having to glue two together to get the effect that you want. But as you can see, this fantastic go, go, foil, go power and emboss machine has obviously been endorsed by John himself. Obviously, he's collaborated with him to make extra plates in different sizes and things like that to give you the best effects every single time you use this but do remember this is your monthly mega deal you're saving 10 pound today with this one we have got it available on three of the flexi buys as well as 40 4666 but incredible value if you're wanting to get this machine now i have to say a huge thank you to mr john no thank you miss wheeler when are you back um, three o'clock today. Three o'clock. And then I'm back on at seven o'clock with an amazing warehouse clearance sale. Ooh. Honestly, you want to be just checking for that. It's the last one we're ever going to do. That's it. So fantastic. Don't miss out on John's show. You know they're going to be amazing. I'll be back at one o'clock for my final show with you. And thank you to everybody who's emailed in and welcome me to the craft store. So thank you to everybody as well. But we've still got lots and lots of extra things coming up this hour. But the main thing that we need to tell you about this one, check out the website. Make sure you check out your machine because it's not yours till you check out. All the plates are there if you're wanting to get them. But make sure you check out on the phone lines or on the website to make sure that you get everything that you need glues tapes and more is available there for you as well and like i say it wouldn't be crafting if we didn't have the right piece of kit to do the job this machine is going to give you all that detail all that pressure that you need so this is the cure couture creations go power and emboss machine so thank you for joining me this hour it's been fantastic and then everybody will be taking over the next hour